I am going to uh, have a conversation with Steve for about half an hour. Feel free to put your questions in the chat. After about half an hour through, we will take questions from the group. Um, and I'm sure Steve's willing to answer any question you have. So no. to start off, Steve, could you explain where you got the idea to write Donkey Show and whether it reflects any of your own experiences in Mexico? Yeah, I always wanted to write an, a novel. And I, and I went to Ecuador after I graduated from college and I tried to write short stories like my Latin American heroes, Borges and Cortázar. And they were very, very bad short stories. And a friend was nice enough to tell me that. And so I realized that if I was gonna make a living writing, I had to do journalism. And that's what led me to the Black River Tribune. But the, and I wanted to be a foreign correspondent. And if you wanna be a foreign correspondent, you have to climb up to a newspaper publication that can send you to, to some place. And so I figured I'd do it the other way. And I went to the interesting places and took really not the greatest jobs, but in really interesting places like Venezuela. And when I came back from Venezuela, I, I, I thought I had daily newspaper experience and I could be a foreign correspondent. And I learned, no, you actually have to have daily US newspaper experience before you can do that. So I eventually got a job in El Paso and it wasn't a great newspaper. It was a lot better than the newspaper that I portray in this book. It wasn't a great paper, but it was a place where people could do great work. And I had a lot of great colleagues there. I don't think my work was so special, but, but I, I, I kind of feel bad because I write this book. It's really about bad journalism. And I, and I, there's so many heroic journalists who are actually dying to, to bring us the truth from in Mexico, especially. And I, I want to make it very clear that this isn't about them or this isn't to denigrate the work, the good work that journalists do. But this is about bad journalism. Now, how did I get the idea? <laughs> when I was in El Paso, there was an incident where a photographer working for the paper, Freelance, was over in Juarez, just across the river, shooting, uh, taking a picture of a hotel owned by a notorious drug king. And he was abducted by thugs who were working for that drug king and the drug king was there and he was beaten, he was mock executed, his cameras were stamped on and he was sent back to the, to the paper with a death threat for our very, very distinguished uh, Juarez reporter, Terry Papa. And again, I wanna make the, this is not, <laughs> so what I did, and the newspaper made this into this huge deal because Mexico was not arresting this guy. He was living the high life in Juarez, just a, a mile down the road from us. And, and Mexico wasn't arresting him. And the newspaper went on this crusade against Mexico on behalf of, the, of uh, our journalists who had had the death threat and our photographer was beaten up. And so I said, this is a really good idea for a novel, except I'm gonna change some crucial details. I'm going to take, it's not a good reporter, it's a lazy reporter. And, it, and the death threat comes not because he did really great reporting, but because he did sloppy reporting in part. And the reporting is so bad that he gets a death threat. And then you have an interesting situation where a bad, lazy reporter, who's nonetheless intelligent, has to figure out how to figure out what really happened over there, because it really wasn't the, the drug king and his his people kill, uh, hurting the photographer. It was another. It was something else that happened. And he has to he has to come get to the bottom of that story. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, before I started reading Donkey Show, I didn't know what Donkey Show meant, so I looked it up on Google, and I was a bit surprised to learn its meaning. So I'm going to let you tell us what it means and okay. why you chose that as the title. Okay. When you, I don't know if this is still true. I was in Juarez, I guess, last year, but, and it didn't happen to me. But if you're War, if you were in Juarez or Tijuana at nighttime and you're coming out of a bar, uh, taxi drivers will say, donkey show. 
And the first time I heard it, I thought they were talking about Don Quixote in French, Don Quixote. But, they, but um, what they say is that there's going to be, there's this great spectacle with a sex act involving a donkey. And believe it or not, some people seem to be interested in that. Now, I don't know if this ever, if there is such a thing as a donkey show, but it's kind of a myth. It becomes this myth where it doesn't really exist in most cases, at least. And they take the, the poor people that want to see the donkey show from one, re from one bar to the next, getting them drunker and drunker and saying the donkey will eventually come. And the cab driver gets a kickback for every drink that this person buys. And so I thought it was interesting because it represents this myth of what people are, are ready to believe. In our case, in the case in, this, in the book, people are willing to believe that a drug lord has a glass eye that he pops in people's drinks, that he has a harem with tigers walking through his house just a couple miles from the newsroom. And, the, and, and uh, you know, that he lives this, this life almost like a uh, thousand and one nights. And they're willing to believe that. And the newspaper's willing to believe all the stuff that it's publishing. And um, in a larger sense, it kind of reflects the myths that we have about, that we accept about Mexico or about any place in the world that we don't know that well which is we're willing to basically believe what we're told about it. If it fits, if it's convenient for us, if it feels good, we, we tend to believe it. And this is true regardless of which side of the political divide you're on. You, you tend to believe what, because it makes your life a lot easier. You, you don't have to think about that, that's settled. And so, you know, Mexico is rapists and whatnot, or Mexico is donkey show is real, or this guy pops his glass eye out in people's drinks. And so that's what Donkey Show is about. It's about the myths that we believe.